And uh, today I'm here to talk about uh, the new semester wise examination, which will be held in the month of November. Your physical education paper is the first semester is on the first of December. So today I'm going to talk about uh, how your paper uh, is going to come. As far as I'm concerned, late uh, in the previous examination. Uh, we used to have 70 marks theory and 30 marks practical where 70 marks was a written exam in the same way but this year the council they have bifurcated the syllabus as well as in this context they have divided the examination into two semester each semester which will be of 35 marks each so in the month of november the exam which is going to start is of uh, 35 marks already mentioned that the question paper uh, which will be coming in the first semester will be of 70 marks in that 70 marks you have to attempt all the questions and the time limit has been given that is one and a half hour to complete the question i will be uploading your uh, one of the specimen paper which will help you to understand uh, how the question is going to come and i'm going to record the video as well to make you all understand the concept to earn marks and the subject and I wish everyone that you will do well as we have already completed uh, three chapters which is uh, because there are four chapters which is going to come in your first semester uh, out of which we have already completed three and a half chapters so I request all the children to prepare according to the plans because whatever we are giving you we are recording this video it is not for us it is for you people so that you can get better marks please go through it the videos please uh, do go through the specimen paper and it will be very easier for you to understand so one examination this is one of the specimen question paper for physical education <clears throat> paper one theory the total marks for first semester will be 70 marks time allowed for the first semester is one and a half hour you will be given 15 minutes to read your paper and the questions which have been mentioned are compulsory you have to attempt all the questions now as you see question number one question number one there are four options given so in this context this mcq multiple choice question here you got to choose the correct answer from question number one question number two and you have to solve all the 70 questions which is given in the question paper, which will be given in your question paper as well so children once again i repeat the first semester is of 70 marks that and uh, I'm going to solve all the questions which is given in this question paper which is out of 70 marks as I've mentioned earlier you have to complete all the questions in your first semester which is of one and a half hour so let us move on uh, with the questions and answer as you can see question number one physical development for the Roman was and there are four options military motive all-round development recreational motive none of the above so the answer for this question is military motive we move on to the second question in which country developed the concept of all-round development so there are four options rome germany denmark and greece the correct answer is denmark question number three per hendrik ling had established the royal institute of gymnastic where students were trained in three different phases which of the following is not one of the phases as you can see the option medical gymnastic educational gymnastic military gymnastic and the third fourth one is the professional gymnastic so the correct answer for question number three is professional gymnastic next question it's question number four which god was honored by the greek in the famous olympian festival so here four options are again given Poseidon, Zeus, Aphrodite and Apollo the correct answer is option B uh, that is Jewish 
we move on to the question number five in which year did india host the biggest games festival the asian games here the years are mentioned 1948 1950 1951 1954 the correct answer for question number five is option c that is 1951 question number six during which period were arrow shooting chariot racing and hunting prevalent in india option number one vedic period option number two medieval period option number three a c ancient period option d indus valley civilization so answer for question number six is option a vedic period uh, physical education develops quality like patience dash sympathy and tolerance out of these four options fill in the blanks so the first option is rebellious P is cooperation, C is jealousy, and the option D is ruthlessness. So for question number seven, it's option B, cooperation. We move on to question number eight. Games and sports are means of national and international integration. Option B, increasing the divide. Option C, starting street fight. Option D, initial political protest. So answer for question number eight is option A, national and international integration. Question number nine, which of the following trait reflects personality development? So for the question number nine, there are four options, helpfulness, team spirit, both A and B. And the last option is none of the above. The correct answer for question number nine, it's option C. It's both A and B. So move on to question number 10 sports dash people of all castes creeds and religion so option a b and c is there unites differentiates divides and distance as it's very easy sports always it has helped to unite people so the answer for option question number 10 it's a unite question number 11 game then sports develop individuals by option number a increasing physical activity level option b promoting health attitude option c both a and b and option d none of the above so the correct answer for question 11 is both a and b is the correct answer for question number 11 question number 12 sports sports in the present time aims at option a living a fuller time option b earning a livelihood option c all around development of human beings and option d just as a pastime activity so the correct answer for question number 12 is option c all around development of human beings question number 13 which method is used to draw the picture of a single league tournament so here are the methods of drawing a picture number one a is cyclic method b is tabular method c is staircase method d is all of the above so the answer for question number 13 is option d all of the uh, above question number 14 who developed interval training method option a ulmer Ressler, and dr hans rindel option b dr harry and dr martin option c gosta holmer and option d is dr v aiken so the correct answer for question number 14 it's option c gosta holmer question number 15 when and where was netaji subhas national institute of sports founded as we have already studied this in the class here are the four options are there option a bangalore 1962 option b kolkata 1961 Option C, Thiru Vanantapuram 1962 and the option D is Patiala 1961. So the correct answer for question number 15 is option D, Patiala 1961. Question number 16, it's dash tournament is set up to provide an opportunity for a second chance in a tournament for those participants who lose their first match. So you have to name the tournaments. Option A is single league, B is double league, C is double counter league, and D is single counter league. So the answer for correct answer for question number 16 is 
option B, double league tournament is a set to, to provide an opportunity is the correct answer. Question number 17 is who founded the Indian Olympic Association in 1927? So options are here given. Option A is Eric Brandon, B is Sir B.P. Nair, C is Sir Dora G. Tata and D is John Brown. So answer for question number 17 is Sir Dorab G. Tata is the answer for he was the person to was the founder of Indian Olympic Association in 1927. Question number 18 is isotonic contraction which means equal tension is known as option A eccentric contraction B static contraction C is concentratic contraction and the last one is dynamic contraction so the correct answer for question number 18 it's dynamic contraction when an isotonic exercise is performed against resistance the load remains option a constant option b variable option c static and d it's oscillating so the correct answer for question number 19 it's option c static is the answer for question number 19 question number 20 which of the following is not an objective of the sports training so the options are technique development aerobic endurance training physical fitness and tactical development so the answer for question number 20 it's option b aerobic endurance training is an objective for straight training sports training then we move on with question number 21 what is the rate of speed at which physical activity is performed known as options are walk load exercise volume load stimulus and the last option intensity so the answer for question number 21 is option d intensity next we move on to question number 22 which of the following techniques stress on programmed phase of work and recovery so here the options are given interval training, continuous method training, path leg training and acceleration run. So the correct answer for question number 22 is option A interval uh, training. Question number 23. What is the central core of circuit training? Options are exercise intensity, exercise density, exercise volume, exercise continuity. So the correct answer for question number 23 is option D exercise continuity players particularly benefit from warming exercise because options are the cardio respiratory system gets ready for the end using action option b they gain a lot with little effort option c running incorporates only a limited range of movement and option d is this accelerates their peripheral blood supply so the answer for question number 24 it's option a the cardio respiratory system gets ready for the end using action question number 25 circuit training method was developed by option a zd sondhi and mr dorab g tata option b dr dg nuaram mr dorab g tata option d re morgan and gt adamson so the answer for question number 25 is option d R. E. Morgan and G. T. Adamson is the correct answer for question number 25. Next, we move on to question number 26. Which of the following is not a type of strength training? Question option A. Maximum strength. Option B. Knockout strength. Explosive strength. And option D. Is strength endurance. So, the correct answer for question number 26 is option B. That is knockout strength. Then we move on to which of the following rules is not related to weight training. Option A. Concentrating on the muscles during exercise. Maintaining a good rhythm during exercise. Resting between the sets for 30 to 60 seconds. Not warming up and stretching before the workout. So the correct answer for question number 27 is option D. Not warming up and stretching before the workouts. Then we move on to question number 28. What is the advantage of cooling down? So options are abnormal blood circulation, efficiency walk of the bodily systems to walk efficiently, increase in level of adrenaline in the blood, 
proper supply of blood and oxygen to muscles the correct answer for question number 28 is option d proper supply of blood and oxygen to muscles is the correct answer for question number 28 question number 29 which of the following is not a component of physical fitness option a is agility b is anaerobic capacity c is flexibility d is muscle composition so here there is some printing mistake or if it's it would have been flexibility but here the question is like a bit twisted so what we can opt is option for question number 29 we can go for option c because there is nothing called flexibility term at physical education so is this is a not a component of physical fitness question number 29 the answer is option c flexibility question number 30 which of the following is not a weight training exercise there are four options shoulder press branch press running tricep press so the answer for question number 30 is option c running question number 31 fat leg means speed play is a variation of option a fast continuous method interval method acceleration run circuit training so the answer for question number 31 is option a fast continuous method which of the following is an incorrect method of training option a interval training method continuous method explosive strength method or path leg training method so the correct answer for question number 32 is explosive strength method is an incorrect method of training then we move on to question number 33 uh, that is what does full form of lnipe stands for the full form here the options are lakshmi national institute of physical education lakshmi national university of physical education lakshmi national institute of physical education national lakshmi national college of physical education so the option for question number 33 is the correct answer is a lakshmi national institute of physical education next we move on to question number 34 in which year was the lnipe founded options are 1957 1958 1857 1956 so the correct answer for question number 34 it's option a 1957 question 35 give the full form of ymca options are young men's christians authority young men's christians association youth men's christian association youth men's challenge association so the correct answer for question number 35 it's b young men's christians association question number 36 who founded the ymca college of physical education options are mr harry crow buck option b ministry of youth affairs and sports option c reverend j h Mesu moore and the last option is sai so the correct answer for question number 36 is option a mr harry crow buck question number 37 io stands for in options are international olympic authority option b indian olympic authority indian olympic association or international olympic association so the correct answer for question number 37 it's option c indian olympic association is the correct answer for question number 37 then we move on to question number 38 which one of the following option is not a purpose of ioc options are to ensure the regular celebration of the olympic games to lead the fight against doping in sports development of sports for all and the last option is do not take actions to strengthen the unity of the olympic movement so the correct answer for question number 38 is the option d to not take action to strengthen the unity of the olympic movement is the correct answer for question number 38 question number 39 when was international olympic committee formed here the options have been given now i'm not going to options just have a look over the options and uh, i'm going to give you the correct answer so question number 39 the option uh, for question number 39 it's the 
25th June 1894 is the correct answer for question number 39. Then there is question number 40. What does NSNIS stands for? There are four options. Out of this four options, the question number 40, the correct answer is option B. Netaji Subhas National Institute of Sports is the correct answer for question number 40. What is the permanent headquarter of IOC located? The correct answer for question number 41 It's It's Lausanne that is situated in located in Switzerland. So the option it's B question number 41 option B is the correct answer Question number 42 the Olympic motto consists of Latin word four options have been given so you got to write down the correct answer so the answer for uh, question number 42 it's option c it's citius alitus and fortius is the correct answer for question number 42 option c is the correct answer question number 43 what does the olympic plaque consist of four options are there a green flag with no borders and Olympic symbol in the center, a red background with no Olympic symbol, a white background with no borders and Olympic symbol in the center, or the last option is none of the above. So the correct answer for question number 43 is C, a white background with no borders and Olympic symbol in the center. When was Sports Authority of India formed? There are four options, 1982, 1984, 1983 and 19. 88 so question number 44 the correct answer is 1984 option b is the correct answer who is the first president of ioa that is indian olympic association a sir dorab ji tata gd sodhi raja balender singh or suresh kalmadi so the correct answer for question number 45 is a sir dorab ji tata next which of the following pairs is not correct? As you can see, the name NSNIS-1961, YM's Young Men's Christians Association-1920, Sports Authority of India-1984, Indian Olympic Association-1999, and NS Netaji Institute. So which of the following pairs is not correct? So the option for question number 46 is the D. And Indian Olympic Association dash 1999 is the wrong answer is not the correct pairs so for the question number 46 the answer will be option D IOA dash 1999 next we move on to question number 47 who is the father of modern Olympic there are four options Demetrius Vikelas, Lee Marcus Samrax Baron Pire D. Hubertin, Frank Kemeny. So the answer for question number 47 is Baron Perry D. Hubertin is the correct answer. That is option C. The five rings of the Olympic flags are in five different colors. They are red, green, yellow, blue, and name the other color. There are four options. It's given. The, the answer for question number 48 is option C. That is black. Question number 49. In which year was the first Summer Olympic held? Summer Olympic was held in the correct answer for question number 49 is option A, 1896. Question number 50. Which type of tournament is best if there are a large number of teams participating? Round robin, challenge, combination, elimination. Out of which the correct answer for question number 50 is elimination is the correct answer that is option d is the correct answer for question number 50 league come knockout is a part of knockout tournament round robin tournament combination tournament or consolation tournament so the answer for question number 51 is option c combination tournament question number 52 which of the following pairs is incorrect aff stands for all india football federation AIT all india tennis association badminton association of india and the last one is hockey indian hockey so the option d is the correct answer because it's not a pair so question number 52 the answer is option d h i that is indian hockey 
is the answer for question number 52 question number 53 which of the following is not a correct statement about intramural so the answer for your four man's options have been given so after this the correct answer for question number 53 is option d they are the competition with other school is an is not a correct statement of intramural because intramural is the kind of a tournament which only takes place inside the school which of the following is not a merit of tournament tournament test your skill in team games all players do not get equal chances tournament helps one to overcome fear culture exchange so the correct answer for question number 54 is option b in team games all players do not get equal chances question number 55 the team in upper half would be n by 2 the team in the lower half would be n by 2 n stands for number of team with reference to above formula which is the formula for the single knockout for even number of teams the answer for question number 55 is a only one option a is the answer for question number 55 question number 56 which one of the following is not a type of tournament uh here it can be easily meant you can write down because olympic is not a tournament it is a game so olympic tournament is the answer for question number 56 then we move on to question number 57 dash activities are organized among the students outside the wall of an institution as i have already mentioned intramural is inside the school so the correct answer is option c extramural activities are organized so the question number 57 the answer is option c extramural then we move on to question number 58 which statement is incorrect about professional sports person they play for money they play out of compulsion they train full time the view sports as a leisure activity so question number 58 option d is the correct answer question number 59 which of the following is not a major international tournament national game asian games olympic games fih world cup so the answer for question number 59 is the correct option answer it's option a national games which of the following trophies is not related to cricket ranji trophy it's for cricket bc roy trophy irani trophy bijay hazari trophy out of which bc roy it's not related to cricket so the option b is the answer for question number 60 bc roy is related to football what is the exact duration of olympic games so the exact games of olympic games here 18 17 15 and 16 days are given as an option so the correct answer is 17 question number 61 option b is the answer for then we move on to what which of the following game is popularly played in the commonwealth countries <laughs> hockey horse polo cricket lawn tennis as i have as you have everyone seen in the re recent olympics hockey is the popularly game played in commonwealth countries so the option a is the answer for question number 62 then we move on to 63 the other name of league tournament is round robin tournament challenge tournament knockout tournament or combination to tournament so the correct answer is round robin tournament is the other name for league tournament which of the given procedure is followed to avoid competition in the initial round by seeding special seeding of fixture so the correct answer is option b that is seeding how many buys are given for 21 teams on the knockout basis here the option is given 11 17 18 and 15 the correct answer is option a 11 which of the following is not an objective of intramural tournament options are given a b c and d learning varieties of games and skill to help in overall development to achieve high performance to provide recreation out of which the answer for question 66 it's option c to achieve high performance which of the following competition is organized for the students of a school within the school boundaries as i already mentioned it's very easy four options are given the answer is option b intramural then we move on to question number 68 tournament helps in development of social qualities development of sports skills selection of players and all of the above so the answer for question number 68 is option d all of the above Question number 69. The objective of tournament is to find out the best team to provide a source of recreation for the public to learn new skill, all of the above. So the answer for question number 69 is 
ऑप्शन डी ऑल ऑफ दब क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवेंटी बाय इज अ प्रिवेलेज गिवन टू ऑप्शन ए टीम स्पॉट इंडिविजुअल स्पॉट्स बोथ ए एंड बी नन ऑफ दब सो द करेक्ट आंसर इज टीम स्पॉट्स सो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम ऑलरेडी लाइक मैंशन ऑल द आंसर्स वेरी प्लीज लिसन इट वेरी केयरफुली एंड टू मेक इट मच मोर इजियर यू जस्ट टेक अ नोटबुक और अ कॉपी ऑफ फिजिकल एजुकेशन राइट एक्सरसाइज कॉपी एंड देन राइट डाउन क्वेश्चन नंबर वन टू थ्री एंड राइट डाउन द ऑप्शन सो दैट इट विल बी इजियर फॉर यू टू अंडरस्टैंड ईच क्वेश्चन इफ यू हैव एनी काइंड ऑफ क्वेरीज यू मे ऑलवेज फील फ्री टू आस्क मी आई विल बी इवन अपलोडिंग दिस वीडियो इन माई यूट्यूब लिंक सो ऑल द बेस्ट स्टूडेंट्स एंड दिस इज हाउ Your questions are going to come in your first semester, which will be of seventy marks. Thank you so much.